What's up, kings and queens? Today, let's talk about a man who was a a Senegalese historian, a physicist, an anthropologist, a politician, an Egyptologist, published author. The list goes on and on. And his name is Shek Antadil. And if you haven't heard about him, let's learn about him. Welcome back to another Blackout Friday. And today, we're talking about Shek Anta Diop. Born in 1923 in Senegal. For those who don't know, that's a country in Africa. Now, he learned at a very young age, education is important. With that piece of information, he studied. From 1949 to 1960, Dr. Diop studied hard, learning about ancient Egypt, learning the phenotype. He studied other African civilizations. He's the one who found who Mansa Musa was. He also studied the social and political systems of ancient Africa, understanding and realizing that they are similarities in the European social and political systems. He even had a hand in translating Einstein's theory of relativity into his own native African tongue. He noticed how they tried to cut us out of many things and make it seem that we were creators of nothing. So he made it his mission to debunk that theory. None of these accomplishments are included with his degrees, his bachelor's in philosophy and in chemistry, as well as the doctorate he acquired, nor does it include him going back home to Senegal to create three different political parties to attempt to fight the treachery that the Senegalese government had acquired due to the colonialism. He was out there pushing, despite having so much on his back on top of it. Most of us know Dr. Shek Anadiop because of his many, many, many books. He left so much knowledge, stacks and stacks of knowledge for us to go back and do our own research and learn even further. He's been criticized heavily for his views in life. He's been criticized for his professional works. A lot of the times it's considered Afrocentric, even though He was before the time. Even to this day, his work is still being criticized. Mainly because people just don't want to admit the truth. Dio has opened the eyes of Africans all across the globe. Helping us to understand that we are not inferior. We have never been inferior. And we shall never be inferior. As long as we continue to improve upon our knowledge and improve upon the systems our ancestors have left for us. He has provided us this knowledge so we don't have to take the same amount of time it took him to acquire the knowledge and then go back out and spread the knowledge. He's given us a head start so we can start at spreading the knowledge. He's done exactly what he should do as a professional, which is providing us with his professional view. For being the mastermind who brought the knowledge of black Egyptians to the world, for never being afraid to be considered a radical, for fighting against colonialism, racism, for being a true soldier throughout our history and still influencing Afrocentric scholars to this day. I have got to salute Shek Anta Diop for being a part of our black history. Now that's just about all we got today for Blackout Fridays. Please, please, please like, share, subscribe, drop a little comment, tell us how you feel. And if you looking 
for last week's knowledge, you can find it right up here. I'm out.